Hey guys, Al Spence here for Golf Coast Custom Garage Models. Uh, sorry I ain't put a video up for a little while, guys, since I guess since that little walk through that used uh, car lot down the road from us, I just thought that'd be something to throw up until I got this. It's 67 Impala SS. I, uh, it's got Welcome Home Veterans, POW MIA. This is off the mentally troxel dragster. I had these decals and I've been wanting to do one. And uh, being it's Memorial Weekend, I thought what a better time to, to pop this up. I got a couple little things to do on it, but nothing major. So I thought I'd share it. Um, I had to cut the body up some. It's got the USA one decal there in the front flip the other side before I pop the body I was off on my body a little bit back here the back I should have extended it just a little bit more man guys but man after you get it done it's just such a bear and I missed the car show so I said to heck with it but there you go it's an, I think it's a fine looking build I like it got built off stand shoot stand off on the back cable parachute uh, the decals I just utilized them myself I laid them out kind of visualized it and that's what I went with so uh, that's there okay let me uh the body comes right out and it's got bells and whistles NOS bottles a couple NOS bottles in the back see I gotta cable them yet I got the I got the uh, braids made so I'm probably going to tint the rims a little bit, take that shininess out. But other than that, battery's cabled up all the way to the starter. Got my seat belts in. Tack on the dash. There is a black wire here going for the tack on armor. So, give you an idea. Computer up there in the front mounted. I should have did that silver, I guess, or flat aluminum as I like to use. But I did have to chop this up quite a bit, so up underneath, same as slicks. Pretty basic up, you know, pretty much all of it. But uh, I like it. I got quite a few comments just on Facebook. I put a couple pictures of it up. Man, guys, I've had a lot going on. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. My wife, a heart situation, man, 57 culinary heart failure or something like that it's like 28 percent of her heart's only working she's got to wear one of them vests i don't know anything about this man she's got a vest thing she wears that monitors and i think it's supposed to save her for heart stops or something and then my daughter had a her ms she's got a new lesions on her frontal lobe of her brain and i think they found one on her cortex and she was having real serious paranoid schizophrenia symptoms and stuff. So, it was just old Pawpaw here taking care of my 87-year-old mom with dementia and my 5-year-old, well, 6-year-old grandson and, and Benji the dog. That was all it was here for, I don't know, two weeks one time before my wife went in the hospital. And about seven or eight weeks altogether. So it's been crazy, been rough. But I'm all right. I hang in there. I'm old school. You know, I'm the, you know, the guys. Pull your bootstraps up and get going and quit whining about it and just do it. So, but anyways, got a cow hood going on. I, I really like this car. I, I like how it came out. You know, you still pop the body off. It's got my MS, MSD ignition box over there in the firewall. Fuel lines all plumbed in. So, that I think it's pretty cool. Um, outside of that, oh, I did a quick truck build while everybody was in the hospital. Um, built my grandson a 99 Chevy Silverado. He's got a few die casts like it, so he wanted one of these. I, de I didn't really get crazy. I wired the engine. You know, there's not a whole lot you can do on it. I messed up the front windshield. Believe it or not, first one I've done like that in a long time. But I did, I did detail it up for him. I mean, it ain't basic. I just, I just 
you know, if I was building this for a customer or selling it, I would have done a lot more. If you notice, no bare metal foil. I was spaced it, man. I was just lost in my head with worry and shit stuff. And um, I put the glass in and everything. I thought, oh, man, I didn't do the bare metal foil on it. Or, or you know, I could have even painted it. But he didn't notice and the little guy don't care. So it's all good. Um, I'll do another update video this week one day. My table's cluttered over there. I ain't got no room, so I had to do it on our little... I don't know what this is. It's a game table. Gaming table, I guess. But I'm doing that. I got that Chevy uh, Frank Icano Camaro, the new release. And I'm doing it... I'm not doing it like the uh, Frank's car. I'm doing it a little different, so... I'll reveal that later. I really don't want to show much on that one yet. Because I haven't got much done. Hey... Look, you guys, you take care. Al Spence here again for Golf Coach Custom Models. Going to make it short. Um, the wife's at her cardiologist, and my daughter went to get Liza. So you all have a happy Memorial Weekend. For you brothers out there that served and did it, you know, thank you, your friends. Thank you, the loss. My uncle, he was a uh, first sergeant major. I, I don't um E, E9, I guess. High as you can go as an enlisted man. I know that. And he passed not long ago. So, you know, I'll be reflecting on him. He was a hell of a guy. Good. He was a tanker and a scout and nom and two and a half tours. He's pretty well decorated. He's just a good guy, man. So I'll be thinking about him and my dad who served in Korea. So, hey, God bless you guys, man. You have a good one. And this is Al Spence here for Gulf Coast Custom Models. Holler at you later. Enjoy.